Hey everyone, so I know I said I was going to do the spaceship, 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 but uh, this little nugget came across my view first. So this is actually only 508 pieces. The spaceship, spaceship, spaceship is 940. This is going to take less to build and I have other things to do tonight. It's my birthday. Yay, happy birthday. This was a birthday present to myself. So as you can see, the 30th anniversary a commemorative edition of the Ecto-1 done in Lego. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a numbered bag build, so I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time sorting out the pieces first, but I thought I'd show you this. This is one of the nicest Lego instruction books I've ever seen. There's a little bit of backstory on how it came to be, backstory on the film, little quotes from the film spread throughout, This is just a very nice commemorative instruction book. Anyway, I'm going to start the build now. I'm probably going to save building the figures for last so that I can do that in real time. But, uh, alright, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to be honest, and this is my second time trying to film this segment. So I decided I'm going to cut back on what I did the first time. I thought I had turned off time lapse, but it turned out I didn't. So here's the completed Ecto-1. What I like about this really is that it's all a brick build. And these, unlike being stickers as they are, even on the Spaceship, 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 a lot of the old style 80s uh, space logos, they're still stickers. Now there are some printed elements, but these are printed. I really appreciate that they did that. Uh, one thing you might have noticed as I was building this is I had to turn it upside down and put these little finishing tiles on. Now those look a lot like the Proton Pack ones, which actually also have printed elements on it. And I'm really and they were in the same bag. I'm actually kind of surprised that I did not accidentally grab one of those as I was putting those on because I wasn't looking, I was just trying to do this build. But I also forgot to put those finishing tiles on the roof. So the first time I actually tried to take this roof off, it fell apart. But yeah, so the roof, pretty complex. Go inside, you can see the driving area. You can actually fit all four Ghostbusters in here, although one of them has to be lying down in the back. 
then this goes on the top and you kind of just shove this underneath. I'm not going to do it. Not going to be completely proper when I do that, but... So what I was originally going to do was build the minifigures now, but as I said, this is my second time doing it because I forgot to turn the camera off of time-lapse, so I've already built them. So you've got Peter, Winston, Ray, and Egon. All of them there. And Egon is even wearing the proton pack. So I figure I will at least show you what goes into building a proton pack, which I'll put on Ray here. Oops. Actually, first I'll show you how to build a trap. The trap is the trap is dead simple. Start off with half a hinged piece. Yellow grill. Black claw. There's the trap. Let's give that to Peter. I know Peter usually wouldn't be holding this, but... Peter. Come on, Peter. No, you know what? I'll put it in this hand. There. Peter's going to be holding the trap. So, to build a proton pack, I want to make sure I get this right. This dark gray piece. Okay. Start off with two of these clips. Join them by, by black grill. Another type of hinge, which gets. I want to make sure I get this the same as Egon's here. One of those, one of those dark gray claws. You get that piece there. It's actually going to the clips. Another clip part here goes there. That actually goes onto the backpack. Flip it over. Proton pack part goes there. And I really like how they did. Yes, this is a lightsaber hilt. You get this round piece with a hole in the end. You take a whip that goes in there. And you clip this onto here. Take the tip of the whip. Eventually, this is the hardest part. That goes in there. I forgot one piece. This goes there. And there is your proton accelerator pack. I think I said I was going to put it on Ray, didn't I? So let me flip them on, power them up, and then back away because this is an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on the back. All right. I hope this is somewhat enjoyable. It's my birthday today. This was my birthday present. I'll talk to you later, folks.